Digital might sound like a very alien subject to me. Trust me, five years back, it was the same for me. So I was a CIM student working for Mobitel at that time and I was handling sponsorships and events, mostly into BTL activities. I had nothing to do with digital. But then I saw a group of people in the same company who is discussing about digital and doing amazing things. Then I wanted to try my hand at it. Then I went and looked for a brand which would give me the most amount of exposure to learn digital. And I got it. Digital marketing, it's a very grossly abused term. A lot of people use it very loosely and throw around words such as SEO, PPC, search engine marketing, uh, SEM, these are the same. Uh, people use it interchangeably or they themselves confuse themselves with these words. But what exactly does it mean to you as a digital marketer uh, who is getting into business or who has been in business for some time? So let's look at a very simple example. How do you look for things online? We Google it. We go and search for the things that we want to buy, the things that we want to do, or things that we like to learn. So we spoke about the terms that people generally use or associate around digital marketing. Let's look at a few examples that we understand. So let's start with a couple of examples. We spoke about the words SEO, SEM, and this terminology, but let's look at it in a way that we understand. Now you are a customer and you want to buy a camera, what would you do? You would go on Google and you will type the word cheap cameras or entry level cameras or DSLR cameras. Today when you type this word while staying in Colombo, what do you get? You would most likely get a page called camera.l. So how did they come to the first page of Google? What did they do right? Let's look at another local example. Let's look at Spasilon. Try typing the word Spasilon on Google search. You would get a result today, which is a search ad. So what exactly do, did they do there? We need to understand that. Marketeers, most of the time, we try to position our pages at the top of search results when it comes to Google and Bing. So that is one part of search engine marketing that is called SEO. Then what exactly is the other aspect of search engine marketing which is known as pay-per-click advertising. So why do you need paid advertising? It's a balance of both SEO and PPC, paid, that is called pay-per-click. You need to have pay-per-click to rank at the top of search results when your SEO is still under development or you need to aggressively push your product in the search arena. So like me, you can also practice digital marketing, get into digital marketing and with time become an expert. So I look forward to meeting you in the class to discuss my experience and to share knowledge with you and to build a learning community around digital marketing.